Praise God, church. I'm Simon Gujir Mushemi. I love Jesus as my personal savior. It is only by grace that I am able to come this morning to share with you in this mid-morning week. I know we are going through a very difficult moment, but God is in the throne, on the throne. And we have every reason to rejoice because he is so good. I want us to reflect on the words in Philippians 4, verse 4 to 6. And I hope God is going to bless you in a mighty way. Let us read those words. Philippians 4, 4 to 6. The Bible says, Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Let everyone see that you are consider it in all you do. Remember, the Lord is coming soon. Do not worry about anything. Instead, play about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we worship you. We glorify your name because you are so, so good. There is no other God like you. Receive all the glory, receive all the honor, for you are mighty God. As we meditate upon your word, mighty Father, may the Holy Spirit of God help us to decipher and to understand the meaning. Thank you, dear brethren. As we have heard, these are the words of Paul to the Philippians, and he was urging them. In fact, he was commanding them to be joyful always. In other Bible verses, the Bible talks of rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. In this morning, you may ask me, why are we supposed to rejoice when we are passing through so many difficult times? But I want to tell you, my dear brethren, that we have so many reasons to rejoice in the Lord. And we don't rejoice in the Lord because we are not passing through uh, difficult times. We do not rejoice in the Lord because we don't have difficulties, but we rejoice in the Lord because of the wonderful things He has done unto our lives. I want us to look at three things that we should focus as we become joyful in the Lord. And the first thing is that we should remember that rejoicing in the Lord doesn't mean that we don't go through depressing moments. Despite the fact that we are going through depressing moments, we have a reason to rejoice because God has promised that he will always be together with us. He will always walk together with us. In the midst of the storm, God will never leave us. God will always be there together with us. So brothers and sisters, it is not about the depressing moments. It is about our relationship with God. As long as we are re related to God in a personal way, we can be able to rejoice because we will be victorious at the end of the day. The second thing that we need to realize is that joyfulness, as Paul is telling the people of Philippians, it's an obedience. It's a command. And so, brothers and sisters, we do need to uh, fulfill the commandment that we need to be joyful despite the challenges that we are going through. We need to have that contentment and joy in the Lord because we believe and we have faith that at the end of the day, God is going to come to our rescue. It doesn't matter the challenges. It doesn't matter whether you have sicknesses. It doesn't matter whether you don't have anything to eat today. But God is faithful and He's going to come to your rescue. The third thing that I want us to look at is that uh, the joy in the Lord is an attitude of contentment and hope that transcend the circumstances. The joy in the Lord is an attitude that we have that despite the circumstances that we are going through, we have hope, we have faith that our God is able. Our God is able to do exceedingly more. And so that is why we have joy, because we know that tomorrow 
things are going to be better than they are today. So my brothers and sisters, as we go through these moments, let us be joyful in the Lord. Because at the end of the day, God is going to come to our rescue. And I want to say that uh, being joyful, it is all about relationships. What is your relationship with God? That is what we call the vertical relationship. And what is the relationship between you and your fellow mankind? Is your relationship with your family members okay? Because the moment your relationship with your family members is not okay, you will have challenges in your life. So it is all about relationships. What is your relationship with your God? If your relationship with your God is good, then you will be able to be joyful in the Lord. Because at the end of the day, you know that God is going to come to your rescue. It doesn't matter the storm, God will be there together with you. So brothers and sisters, as I conclude, I want to say, let us have joy in the Lord. As Paul is telling the Philippians, be joyful in the Lord. And I say again, let us be joyful in the Lord. Because brothers and sisters, as verse 6 is saying, do not worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Because when you give your petitions to God, our God is able and he will be able to come to your rescue. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning once more. We want to thank you because you are so, so good. Receive all the glory, receive all the honor. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercies. My Father, my God, this morning as we, uh, we go through this midweek service, Father, we pray that you, your Holy Spirit will guide us so that we will have a reason to be joyful in the Lord because without joy, our lives will never be complete. Thank you, we honor you. This is our humble prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.